Welcome back everyone to another midday video here on Gourmet Breaks. Before we get started, I need to give a very special shout out to the following Patreon members. Tommy White with Relic Nation, Shane W of Oddball Cards, Mitch Smith, Justin Moeller, Joe L, Jeff Ruoff, Barry K of Cards for Days, Michael P of Bass and Ball Cards, Dwight with Clark Sports Cards, Tom Edwards, James Palmer, Ron James, Paul Curry, Darren Zia Comfort Cards, and Jonathan H of Autistic Family Collectibles. How are you guys doing today? It is Monday. Hopefully everything is going all right out your way. Jersey, how are you doing? Tyler, James, cool scene is in the house, but cannot stay. Understandable. It is Monday. So uh, today, just wanted to do things um, a little bit differently. Hey, Dwight, how are you? Um, just do things a little bit differently, and I will tell you why. Um, however, I will also say, James, I've got your blaster. Um, got your blaster right here. I don't know what people's work schedules are like. Some of you only have a few minutes to pop in. Greg, I've got yours here as well. Um, I don't know what your work schedule is like, so I will uh, be happy to jump around in the video if you've got a few minutes to stay. By all means, uh, w welcome to hang out, of course. Um, but if you've got to run, please tell me and I will skip around. Um, you're on nights for two weeks. So are you still awake or have you already uh, woken up? You're good. Okay. Um, so the reason that I'm doing this today is um, there's quite a few folks out there that are having, you know, it, it's, it's rough times. So um, I want to try to create part of the video where it's kind of just about looking at something cool, hanging out and um, shooting the breeze with other people. And then the other part of the video will be um, opening up stuff from sales and whatnot. So you got a chance to participate, um, whether you bought something or not. Um, I don't want that to kind of become the real focus of the channel. I just want the hanging out to be more of uh, the idea on these midday videos anyway. So with that being said, Greg... Um, I don't know if you have time. James, you said you're good. Oliver's got one. Um, be real tired tomorrow. I can't imagine uh, switching from days to nights to days to nights. That just seems like a recipe for exhaustion. <clears throat> so what we're looking at here, guys, these are 100 card. Greg, you're at work multitasking. These are... 100 card blister packs. Um, I don't know when these went on sale. I would imagine at some point in the late 80s. Um, I picked up a few of these simply. Uh, yeah, James, I'm, I'm with, I would imagine. Um, I picked up a few of these uh, back when I was hunting for the Mark McGuire card because, quite frankly, uh, buying an entire box. Uh, James, I have three of these. Um, can you still get them? I'm, I mean, you could buy anything off of eBay. Hey, Chris, how are you? I don't, I don't know how regularly they pop up. Um, but that's where I got mine and I got these months ago. Uh, they've been sitting here and the whole reason why I bought these for those of you newer to the channel, um, I wanted to try to find old cards, um, childhood kind of dream cards without going like huge mega dollar buying you know bbce sealed boxes at 500 bucks or something crazy so i bought some rack packs and then i bought these and maybe we can find something in here um that you might have been able to afford as a kid so we're gonna see if we can get in here without slicing myself to be to pieces uh the black background hopefully we'll uh blend in with the blood all right well looks like i got the first stack out you could think of this video as a bit of a product review if you want to um i've never really considered myself a product reviewer um honestly <clears throat> honestly we're all kind of reviewing product every time you open anything, right? Like it's good, it's bad, it sucks, it's got hits, it doesn't. 
Um, putting a title on it as a product reviewer, who cares, right? We're opening stuff. So in my opinion, if I was reviewing a product, <clears throat> it really comes down to um, what am I expecting? Is it worth the money? Would I do it again? Right. That's that's how I feel about reviewing product. Um, what am I expecting? Um, really, I'm just expecting a nice mixture of old cards. And what I'm not expecting is for the first card, the visible card to be good and the rest to be crap commons since it was a repack. That's what I'm that's what I'm expecting. Um, I'm hoping to get a Mark McGuire and. Would I do it again depends on um, what we see. Um, worth the money, it was not a, a huge investment. Okay, so Nolan Ryan, right off the bat, it's nice. Pretty well centered for an 85 card. Uh, nice looking card. Greg Minton. Then we've got a father and son, Dick Schofield. Al Holland. Bob Nepper. Kurt Wilkerson, the cards all look to be in really good condition. Juan Samuel, there's a Bob Boone, father and son. Steve Sachs, might not be a huge superstar, but definitely a known name from the 80s. Parrish, Tony Perez, Pena, Jim Wynn, Pete Rose. So what are you guys thinking so far? I'm not even a quarter of a way into this. We're getting real names, um, so I'm happy so far. John Denny, that card, a little worse for wear. I don't know what's going on with that. The corners all look nice. Bob Ojeda, there's Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Jeff Kunkel, Tony Gwynn. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, this was worth the money. All right, so I should have been separating these as I went. I'm going to separate these into cards that are crap that I don't know what to do with other than maybe make a set or give to a fan of that team. But let's go. Tony Gwynn, nice looking card. Dave Winfield, nice. Pete Rose, of course, nice. Tony Perez, nice. Steve Sachs, Juan Samuel, we know. Not bad. Okay, Ray Burris. Gary Roenick, Yogi Berra, we know that. Randy Johnson, wrong one. Todd Cruz, Ernie Witt, Ricky Nelson, Joe Cowley. And there's one of the Team USA cards. Pat Pasillo, Pasillo, Pachillo, whatever. Filson, Kruger, Broderick Perkins, Upshaw, Mike Jeffcoat, Brad Wellman, Richie Hebner. Dwayne Kuyper, local favorite. Jerry Mumphrey. Eric Show. There's Jeff Leonard, all-star card. Danny Ozark. Dick Schofield, we got the father and son. Mike Sosha, there's another known name. Daryl Brown. Larusa, obviously, is an A's fan. Big deal there. Renee Lashman. Harry Spillman. Brian Dayette. Omar Moreno. And Dave Kingman. So if you just bought this, right? Paid whatever. I don't honestly remember what I paid. Somewhere around maybe 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. Okay, so we got some cool kind of inserts. I got a Nolan Ryan, Larusa, Jeff Leonard All Star, a USA card, Yogi Berra, Sachs, Perez, Rose, Winfield, and Tony Gwynn. You guys be the judge. Is this is this um a, a fun worth it break? I think so. I think so so far. Hey, Joey, how are you? Okay, next up, we got the Buddy Bell, father and son. Another Team USA manager card, Rod Dido, something like that. Rich Bordy, Larry Milburn, Hojo, Stanton, Mark Hill, Dwayne Walker, Jerry Harrison, Dennis Lamp, Bill Duran, Ozzy Virgil, another Pete Rose, Pete Rose manager card this time. Henry Cotto, and there's a Roy Smalley, father and son, Dave Collins, Pete O'Brien, Kurt Young, Steve Comer, Lee Lacey, 
Terry Pendleton, Carlton Fisk, another Hall of Fame. Oh, sweet checklist. Shane, just in time. Check it out. I'll put that in the good pile. Nick Asaski, Bruce Hurst, Dave Steve. There's Joe Carter, Buddy Bell, Sisk, Bruce Bereni, Steve Garvey, Salazar, Mike Moore, draft pick card, Greg Brock, Dave Spaghetti, Willie Akins, Andy McGaffigan, Rick Camp, Jim Clancy, Phil Gardner, Jack Clark, another known name, Sid Munge, Mong, can never pronounce that, Mike Davis, Pedro Guerrero, Paul Mirabella, Ken Obergfell, Dale Murray, Andy Hawkins, Jeffrey Leonard, and Chris Bando. Keep thinking you're getting a bunch of inserts. Yeah, the 85 style 2020. So, out of the 100 cards, I would say these would be the notable cards. USA, you got some cool insert styles. Nolan Ryan, La Russa, All-Star, USA, Yogi Berra, Sax, Perez, Rose, Winfield, Gwynn, Jack Clark, Spaghetti, Mike Moore, Garvey, Carter, Sweet Checklist, Fisk, Father and Son, Pete Rose again, and Hojo. Not bad. Not bad overall for kind of a fun little repack. No Roger Clemens, no Dwight Gooden, and obviously no Mark McGuire. Um, or what's the other one? Kirby Puckett, but didn't break the bank. And with that being said, the reason why a lot of you are here, 2017 Diamond Kings, there was 2017, 18, and 19 on flash sale today. James, you got in. I don't know what I'm doing. James, you got in on 17. You were in first. So let's get yours cracked open. Um, how many of you noticed that today I did the scheduled um, stream? Maybe you got the countdown notification. Maybe not. Maybe you didn't notice. Uh, maybe you came in after the fact. I don't know. Uh, just trying to keep tweaking the channel to uh, make it better and better for you guys. Uh, what is popular opinion? Which year is the best between Greg? I would say it all comes down to what you're looking for. Um, didn't see it. Pro probably ultimately doesn't matter at this point. If I'm being honest, um, I've tried to start getting the thumbnail ready ahead of time. Um, just so that, you know, you're not waiting for the first five minutes of the video for people to filter in, but they might have already filtered in. Ultimately, you're going to watch or you're not going to watch um, anything on YouTube that is not just my channel, but anything, right? You're either going to be there or you're not. You're going to get the notification or you're not. Uh, does it really matter? Doubtful, but some of you might have noticed. Uh, so, Greg, if I had to make a... there, There's two things I would say, okay? 2017. 2017 is filled with, it has, I think, every single rookie that 2017 has is in here in some form. Um, everyone has a base card. Cody Bellinger is the only exception. However, Cody Bellinger is in here um, in the form of hits, which I feel like, hey, if you pull a Cody Bellinger hit, um, you definitely paid for a $15 blaster. Um, but you got Bregman, you got Mankata, you got Benintendi, you got Judge, you got all those guys, Matt Olson, you got all those guys in 17. 2018 um, has all those guys in hits and whatnot, Otani, and um, I can't think of who else. Some The other, it does not have Soto and Acuna. 2019 has all the folks in there, and it has good hits as I can attest to, since I got a 2019 Acuna Auto out of a box of Diamond Kings. James opened a box of 18 the other night, and I thought he did really well. Got a lot of cool cards. So, again, in the end, it just comes down to what you're looking for. 
Uh, I can't say one is the best. If you don't like Aaron Judge, 17 would not be the best. If you're an Aaron Judge fanatic, 17 might be the best. This is 2017, and I like the design of them, and that might be what it comes down to. Ty Cobb, there's Chipper Jones. Got the Ted Williams collection. We got Wade Boggs. Nice Wade Boggs originals. And here we go. So first pack in, James gets the Benintendi rookie card. And then I don't know. I don't know how you guys necessarily view cards. Something weird on DK First Acuna is 19, no rookie. That is weird. And then I, they have Victor Robles would be in 2018. You got um, Albies rookies, Otani rookies. So it's not that 2018 is a dead product. Um, it just doesn't have Soto or Acuna. But I don't know how you guys view this, but you start to think like, okay, so if I wanted to, to get my money back, uh, I got an Andrew Benatendi card. Is this, you know, a, a two, three dollar card? Depends on who it's going to. Got a Wade Boggs insert in there. This is how I start to like look at cards sometime. Um, like if I get the worst of the worst, nobody I wanted, it can I find some value in it still? Paul Wayner, Cole Hamels. We got Freddie Freeman. We got Edwin Encarnacion, and that's an Aurora card and an Eric Gonzalez rookie. So nice. Another of these uh, inserts, the Aurora insert of Encarnacion. I will say that the Ben Attendee card was flipped around backwards, and that last card of that pack, the Eric Gonzalez, was not. So... Might be a little uh, a little trickery happening there, James. It is card number 131. I think some of the cards over 100 might be considered. Um, it's either where the rookies fell or SPs fell, James. So worth checking out. Cardboardconnection.com. Got your checklist and all that kind of stuff. If you guys don't uh, ever know who's in a set, go to Cardboard Connection. Check it out. Harry Walker. Chris Davis, a Stan the Man Musial. It's a nice looking Stan Musial card. Memorable moment, Lou Gehrig. And we've got Matt Carpenter. So another four home runs in a single game at Polk High. Nice Lou Gehrig. Memorable moment insert. My Al Bundy fans will uh, get the reference. Okay, we got Bill Dickey, Joey Votto, Daniel Murphy, and you got two backwards cards here. So, Cal Ripken Jr. Heritage Collection. I always thought these were kind of nice looking. And we got Don Larson. So, again, another uh, flipped around backwards card. James might be. A variation of some kind. Nice Cal Ripken Jr. Still got three packs to go. Diamond Kings is obviously more of a premium Panini product, so it's not you're not going to get a thousand packs. Evan Longoria, John McGraw, and there's another rookie card again backwards and framed. So James. That is the Matt Olson framed rookie card. So that's another big rookie card. Hey, All Sports Highlights, how are you doing? Another nice rookie card. We got a Ryan Sandberg and Carson Kelly rookie. So Ryan Sandberg originals insert. That's not bad. I know you like the framed cards. Matt Olson, obviously a uh, standout rookie. And James gets a hit. Nap LaHoy, something to that effect. Brooks Robinson. We got a Clayton Kershaw, Aurora, and Kyle Hendricks. Nice Kershaw card. And James M.M. Got a Manny Margot autograph, dual relic, out of 99. 
And there you go. So, James, I would say mission accomplished, right? Manny Margot, obviously a name that we all know, still playing. Dual Relic and Auto and numbered out of 99, all out of a $15 Relic, uh, I'm sorry, $15 Blaster. Plus, you got these other things already as well. A Matt Olson framed rookie and an Andrew Benatendi rookie. And this, to me, is what people sleep on when it comes to Diamond Kings. Like, there is cool stuff in Diamond Kings, but people just can't get over. Maybe it's the look. Maybe it's the too many old names. I, I don't know, but 15 bucks. Still got a pack to go. Who knows? There might be an Aaron Judge rookie in here. Right? Come on. Not bad. Rizzo. Carl Erskine. Nolan Arenado. We got Bill Mazeroski and Joe DiMaggio. So get a lot of Hall of Famers in there. You obviously got a hit. You got two current uh, rookies or modern rookies, whatever you want to call it. Modern day player rookie cards. James, mission accomplished. Nicely done. And congratulations. Okay, Greg, got you up next. Hey, you're welcome, man. That that was nice. That worked out very well for you. And uh, I, as always, got to look at some cool cards. So worked out mutually beneficial. Okay, Greg, let's see if we can't um, repeat a little bit of magic for you here. I'm sure somebody will come in and complain about Diamond Kings, but that was a nice blaster. This, to me, has a similar, I guess, feel as, say, Stadium Club, where... Regardless of the card or the name on the card, the cards look so nice that it's still fun to open if only to look at. Okay, Greg, best of luck. Now, I will say that's a tough act to follow. Uh, getting two hits in a row is... That was pretty long odds against that, but maybe we'll get some more good rookies for you. you got Bryce Harper. It's a nice looking card. Craig Biggio. We got backwards David Dahl. And, well, I can tell why. So we got a framed David Dahl rookie card out of 2017. Nice. You uh, Rockies fans, appreciate that. And, hey, maybe you're just a fan of the cool framed cards. We got a Mike Trout Aurora. Don't know that I've ever heard anyone complain about getting too many cool Mike Trout inserts. And Pee Wee Reese, also backwards for some reason. Not sure why, but uh, in the interest of uh, erring on the side of caution, we'll sleeve those up for you, Greg. Mike Trout. It's a nice looking Mike Trout. Not too many people probably have that card. Got Johnny Pesky. No freaking way. Check it out. Well, there you go. Johnny Pesky. Chris Bryant. Roberto Clemente. And Luke Weaver. Unbelievable. Great way to start your Monday. B.E. Brent Honeywell. Dual Relic. And, okay, you can't make this up. Greg, what's your team? We'll wait. Tampa Bay. Come on. Come on. And it's a Tampa Bay Rays card. How does this happen? It's it's bizarre. Is is this not just one of the creepiest yet best things going on the channel? 
of all of the people, a Tampa Bay Rays card goes to Greg Laurie. Unbelievable. Dual relic. That's now two hits in a row out of two blasters. And, of course, it's a Tampa Bay Rays card. It's, it's like Twilight Zone music should be playing in the background here. Greg, congratulations. Okay, Harry Brachine, Herb Penna, Pennock, Kershaw. We got a sweet Raleigh Fingers and Cargo. Nice Raleigh Fingers Heritage Collection card there. And you could tell, I feel like it came a little sneaky here. Is it just me or can you can you almost see the beginnings of a logo on that hat. Hey, Todd, Diamond Kings. Sneaky. They did well with the uh, photography here. Okay, Ernie Banks. Pujols. The Ted Williams collection. Check that one out. We got Mookie Betts. And Polanco, nice Mookie Betts Originals card there. All right. Todd, uh, is the wife still on the uh, on the improvement? I know you said she was doing Worlds Better yesterday. Hopefully today uh, even better than, than then. Got Jim Bottomley, the babe. Max Carey, and there's Nolan Arenado, as well as Jackie Robinson. Nolan Arenado, Aurora, and Jackie Robinson. Backwards for some mysterious reason. Greg, it's working out well, right? Joe DiMaggio, Carlos Martinez, Earl Averill. Then we got Tony Perez and Renato Nunez, rookie card. So Tony Perez, we just got that Tony Perez out of 85 tops. Another Tony Perez today. Didi. And you guys know they all have that kind of canvas feel to them. Roger Maris. And you got, oh, wow. That is an Andrew Benatendi red framed rookie card numbered out of 99 for Greg. Come on. And I'm sure some of you were probably like, uh, Diamond Kings don't like it. Well, you missed out. Sweet cards out of 2017 Diamond Kings. Nice Benatendi there. 70 percent. Hey, we'll take it. That's that's passing. What a blaster. We got Max Scherzer originals and Chris Sale. They are nice looking. He got a Mike Trout Aurora. Greg, mission accomplished again. Two framed cards, one of them a numbered Andrew Benintendi. And of course, of all people and people to get, a Tampa Bay Rays hit. Okay, next up is Oliver. Oh. Man, she com she compared it to like the flu with a little more poopies, but not all as bad as me. Oh, uh, and he did not get it. That's kind of uh, interesting. That's definitely uh, interesting. I kind of thought it was like you touch, you got it. All right, so this is our last one for today. 
Um, at least at this point, if somebody wants to hurry up and grab one or grab another one, by all means, uh, while I'm on, um, if not, um, and you get one or you're watching the video after the fact, um, you can also get one today or get two today. I don't care. Get three, get one of each, do what you got to do. Um, and I'll open them, uh, tomorrow. Okay, Oliver, good luck. Whenever Oliver sees this, maybe Oliver's uh, at work lurking and listening. Okay, got Bill Dickey, Joey Votto. There's that Ted Williams collection card. And we got Jim Bunning and Matt Carpenter. So Jim Bunning Heritage. Two blasters so far, two hits so far. Is the sickness bad? Yes, but I'd say nowhere near as bad as the media's. Yeah. Agree and agree. Um, I think at some point people are going to have to start weighing out the risk of getting it versus the crippling of the economy. Um, but... It is nice to hear somebody get it and recover, obviously. Longo, Chris Davis, Stan the Man Musial, and we've got Corey Kluber Originals, and Don Larson. Still have no clue what's going on with the uh, forwards and backwards. I know that Original would be backwards because it's a... Uh, because it is like an insert. James, you want another one? Okay. Uh, you are you are right after this then. Okay, Nap Lahoy, Brooks Robinson, Daniel Murphy, and we got Jonathan Villar, Aurora, and there's a Josh Bell rookie. Like I said, 17 has got just about all the good rookies in there. I think it literally has them all. It's just a matter of where they fell in the checklist. Hits or uh, base. Still drinking more lemonade and drinking beer. Uh, okay, 2019. Got it, James. Thank you. I would have grabbed a 17. Rizzo, McGraw, Carl Erskine, and Catfish Hunter. Nice Catfish Hunter heritage card. Three more packs for Oliver. Um, Jackson, how much is a Randy Johnson 89 score rookie? Um, hey, Darren, I, I would that's probably a three dollar card, um, in good condition. Graded could be maybe a 20 to 25 dollar card. Honus Wagner, Nolan Arenado, Johnny Pesky, framed. Nice Johnny Pesky framed Tony Gwynn originals. Got a Tony Gwynn out of 85 tops earlier and Joe DiMaggio. Nice pack there for Oliver. I'm beginning to feel that there is a, I don't know if you'd consider this green. What color is this, honey? No, all right. No answer. I'm thinking green. black it's kind of a well that's what color it is olivia what color olivia says black so we'll go with black come out of this pack what in the heck it's chicken color. Mr. Dwight says it's chicken color. Yelly. DeRocher. He's, he called that chicken color. Is it chicken color? It does not look like a chicken color. Dis she disagrees. All right. DeRocher. Will Myers. And we got Joey Votto Aurora and Orlando Arcia rookie. Another nice rookie card there. And last pack. We 
We got Nelly Fox. Oh, sweet Adrian Beltre. Tommy Henrik. A memorable moment, Luke Appling and John Lester. Nice memorable moment card there. So, Oliver, thank you. Got Josh Bell, rookie, framed Johnny Pesky, and a couple of mysteriously backwards cards in there. Three blasters of 2017 Diamond Kings yielded two hits, one of them an auto dual relic. Um, I, I'm liking those odds. And every single one of you guys got a big rookie out of 2017 as well. Once Rona passes, I'll, I'll find her chicken. <laughs> She'll love it. Okay, James, 2019. 2019 Diamond Kings. Uh, she was watching. Um, Shane, I showed her the chicken card that you had in the background of your video. And her first question was, why did you send him my chicken card? And I'm like, it's, it's a different card. It's a different chicken. Okay. Uh, James, the uh, good old parallel bonus. Uh, first or last? There's probably two framed cards in here, if uh, memory serves. Put down the shovel and score time. Hey, Lewis, how are you doing today? Let's see what James wants. We'll go first or last. First. Okay. Getting started off right. Now, I know on these, guys, the background border um, is typically a brownish color. If you see a black uh, border, it's probably an SP. Whit Merrifield, Team Hero. Joe DiMaggio, Hall of Fame Hero. You can see how foily the uh, logos are. And that's exactly what I was talking about. See the black? Versus the brown. So, James, you've got an SP and I believe a framed SP at that. Roberto Clemente, artist proof. Josh James, the, I think, plum rookie card framed. And a variation. Look at that. That is a Javi Baez framed variation or framed sp that's a pretty sweet card and uh obviously a nice name as well so james the uh, magic for diamond kings continues for you nicely done clemente artist proof also a pretty cool card yeah i, I mean I got to say, at some point, things just kind of fall into the uh, eye of the beholder, you know. Um, they are still nice looking. It's just they're they're different, right? I mean, which is better, 2017 or 2018 um, or 2019 Stadium Club? It's basically three cards with great pictures and the names are written differently. Um, they all have this canvas feel. They all have this kind of painted style, but then the name becomes different with a little bit of this. You put the right, you put Matt Chapman on any of them, I'll be equally happy. You get the idea. Simmons, Miguel Cabrera, The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, Jake Bowers, rookie, and Lou Gehrig. And you can see what the standard card looks like. So again, James, that Javi Baez variation and framed. We got Vladdy Sr. And crowning moment, Miguel Tejada. That's a cool looking insert. We got the Squires, Victor Robles card. You got to look carefully because sometimes these are like a foil. Um, these are like gold on this one. Um, super hard to tell the difference. 
Open 2020 football prism, and those cards look spectacular. Wait till baseball and basketball comes out in that. Uh, I'm excited. Select. There's some other things. Matt Carpenter and Charlie Keller. There's a bunch of uh, stuff that I can't wait to see. Hopefully, we get to see it soon. Right now, I kind of feel like we're all just kind of limping along with um, what's available. Jacob Nix. Oh, James. Unbelievable. I cannot believe James, you are uh you are definitely on a roll today. Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola. Kevin Kramer. I cannot believe it. Oh my freaking word. James, we're just gonna wait. I'm just gonna make you wait. Oh my word. James. DeGrom, trust me, you have no clue what you just got. DeGrom, Walter Alston, Joe DiMaggio, The Babe, and Colby Allard, rookie. Wow. James has got <laughs> just some, some sweet luck going today, buddy. You, nobody will, nobody would guess it. Nobody would. It's, it's that out there. I will tell you this though. I'll give you a hint. You've already seen him today. Juan Soto. Danny Jansen is backwards because I don't know why. It's not a black border. Maybe it's the higher number. Check out that Mike Trout. Mike Trout, Masters of the Game, Joe DiMaggio, and Max Scherzer. I think these might be the cards where if it's over 100, people consider it almost like a high number. SP. Sweet Mike Trout. Last pack. Carl Hubble. Ichiro. Aaron Judge, team hero, Kristen Stewart, rookie, and Laser Loriano, rookie. Okay, James. James. 2019 Diamond King Retro. 1983 Diamond King Material Signatures. Card number 10 of Steve Garvey. A Steve Garvey 83 Retro Materials autograph. So I'm imagining, James, it's going to be like this, but hopefully that sweet yellow and brown old school Padres uniform. Um... Where was where was Garvey? I'm thinking something along these lines. Come on. Come on. $15 blaster, man. That's fantastic. Two autos today. Sweet cards aside from that. Hey, Joe, how are you? Uh, it's going to be sick. I have to show when you get it. Yeah. James will, uh, it'll be about a year, but James will probably show it to us. I want a relic with a chaw of back on it. All right. Well, guys, I think that's, that's everything that we had this morning. Um, that's everything we had this morning. If you missed out, um, you still have until midnight to tack something on to it. So let me know, and uh, we will get that for you tomorrow. Um, yeah, Diamond Kings. This is going to be the first time that a lot of you saw the potential of Diamond Kings, and that worked out pretty well for just about everybody who got one today. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to let you get back to doing what you're doing. 
Have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Have a good day, gentlemen, and stay safe. And you're welcome, uh, Greg. I try. Give you guys a little break. All right. Goodbye, guys. Take care.